Got a weighted calisthenics vest. Got it from Kensui Fitness. They let me uh, choose an item from the website. It's like a calisthenics brand. And uh, I've always wanted to get a weighted vest because it's different than a chain belt because with the belt you can only do, you know, you're limited with the exercises you could do. For example, with the belt you can only do like dips and pull-ups. But with the weighted vest you can do push-ups, you can do handstands, you can do a lot of things with it. So my gym has an outdoor calisthenics gym, so I'm gonna try this out for the first time. This seasoning is so good. Montreal chicken seasoning, adding it to my lean ground turkey. So this is one of my favorite meals in general. I have it once a day, sometimes twice a day. It is lean ground turkey, 99% lean, one cup of rice, and two whole eggs is what I've added to it recently. Um, just adding in extra calories so I can continue my lean bulk phase. So macros, about 73 grams of protein. 15 to 20 grams of fat, fit carbs, adds up to about 700 calories about. So it's really good meal, a lot of protein. Um, and I love to cook my eggs like this because while you're eating it, you can break the yolk and it just oozes out into the food. It just I mean, you know, makes it easier to eat, makes it so much tastier. The yolk, don't be afraid of the yolk. I mean, it has most of the fat in the egg but it also holds most of the nutrients as well. But I like to add a lot of sauces to it. So sugar-free barbecue sauce, G Hughes, is a staple of mine. I got this massive thing of Valentina sauce. This is literally like just a few bucks at the store. It's crazy. And there's uh, 200 servings in here. But we also can't forget our no sugar added to tomato ketchup. Um, this is lower calorie than typical ketchup and it doesn't have like any like crazy sweeteners in it and it tastes better than normal ketchup in my opinion. So I'm going to eat this, let it digest a little bit and then we'll do our workout. Now you guys might be asking where are the vegetables. I typically eat this with some bell peppers and some onions but I'm out of both of those so we're going to supplement that with a green drink. Probiotic greens from Transparent Labs, code JB10. Best uh, green drink I've ever had. In regards to flavor, this one's pineapple coconut. And also, um, it digests so well, helps my digestion a lot. If you guys are true OGs, you would know that my very first YouTube video, which was 10 years ago, was a calisthenics video. It's called Stunning Calisthenics, Excellent Calisthenics, and Bar Movements. So, it's this one. Back when I was like 15 years old, 16. But anyway, yeah, Kyle Settings is how I started. And I've maintained it throughout the years. So uh, my dad built a Kyle Settings gym like right in my front yard for me. Had some monkey bars, a uh, dip bar, and a pull up bar. Started with that and then slowly transitioned into more weightlifting. But I still maintain the calisthenics. Uh, weighted calisthenics is one of my favorite things to do, so I incorporate that in all my um, workouts. So like for example, for chest I would always do like weighted dips, for back I would do weighted pull-ups, for shoulders, handstand push-ups, that type of stuff. So I think it's good to maintain the ability to carry your own body weight, stay, you know, stay mobile, stay uh, agile. So you know, even if you've only lifted weights forever, I think you should still, you know, get into uh, body weight training. Because then you can do it anywhere you want. It's convenient. You can train. You can do calisthenics wherever on vacation. You don't have to have a, a gym to go to. So the ground was pretty hot, but I'm going to do handstand walks just to warm up the shoulders. So I'm going to see how far I can go down and back. I haven't done a handstand walk in a while, but it's great to warm up the shoulders for like handstand push-ups and stuff. But for those who don't know how to do handstands, you just go against the wall and you know practice that way and work your way toward you going without a wall without the assist but anyway let's see how far we can make it <laughs> yep the ground is hot <laughs> uh. <sighs> okay let's turn around Oh boy. 
Yeah, the ground is burning. Oh my gosh, that burns. Okay, yeah, I low-key have blisters on my palms already. I don't know if, I, if you guys can see that. Just walking down once, I already got blisters on my palms. Jeez. Back in high school, I literally uh, walked on my hands 100 yards all the way across the track. If it wasn't this hot, I would have gone all the way down. I'm gonna try out this vest. I think I just slide it on like this. Like that. And then you clip. And then you just clip these together. Okay. Yeah, I'm slowly figuring it out. I'm supposed to have the straps on the back side so it's easier to clip on like this. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. I need to just add weight to the front side for now. So I think what I'll do right now is just practice without weight, just doing some handstand push-ups on these weights first, and then add weight to the vest. I just want to see how much weight I can do a handstand push-up with. Oof, now my palms are really sensitive. Good. Yeah, it's not bad. So now I got these two five pound plates and these 2.5s. I'm gonna try to do it with two fives and see how that is. That sweet fits on perfect. So we got 10 pounds added to the handstand push ups. Lots on pretty good. The only thing is it's probably gonna throw off my balance a little bit, but I think it will work, hopefully. That's not bad at all. I am surprised. But look at my palms. You can see the dumbbell like written on my palms. But anyway, yeah, I actually really like that. In fact, it was easier to do a handstand push-up with the weight than without the weight. Shall we out on the 2.5s and make it 15 pounds? Or we can just put like a plate on here. So I didn't, I thought that like a whole plate would be too big, like it hit my face, but it actually like fits on just fine. I just got to put it on the clip, but 25 pounds, <laughs> a lot heavier than just an additional 10 pounds. So wish me luck with the handstand with this. I don't know if I can even kind of gets in the way when I like that. I mean, I'd be impressed if I can even press into a handstand like this. I got two reps. Dang. Yeah, that's hard because it kind of just gets in the way. But I am happy that I was able to do two reps even. All right, now I'm going to kind of go for more reps. So I think I'll go for like a set of 10, well, 5 to 10 with 10 pounds. It's easier to do these ones because they're not wide to where they just get in the way. My arms, like my clip. Here it is. So, 
Let's see how many we can get with 10 pounds. How oh, much easier? my balance. How about let's do a drop set? So I'll take these off. I'll take some 10 pounds off and do a drop set to body weight. Oh, oh man. Even just pressing into a handstand is hard. No, sir. Ooh. What I like to do with these sometimes is um, from going behind the head, you burn out there and then you immediately go into in front of the head just so you can get like a few more reps because a little stronger in this position compared to from behind. So you could do like 10 reps behind, then move to the front and do like as many as you can, five, 10 reps. So this is how it would look. So let's say you burn out here. See so at 10, you're gonna go immediately right to the front. So for these, I like to just grab the opposite side of the cable to some cable lateral raises. And I like these with the cable because you actually feel tension through the whole rep, including at the bottom in the stretched position. And I just like to hold on to the cable itself, a little black ball on my pinkies because the more pinkies are out, the more lateral delt you get. Because if I angle my thumbs up, I'm going to get more front out. So this exercise is for rear delts. You're going to grab exactly how you did before. You're going to have the attachments up higher. I have a BOSU ball because there's no benches down here, but I would prefer a bench. But you're going to grab the opposite side. And this is kind of like a face pull, but instead, you're going to follow through with your elbows on the opposite side. Instead of just using one attachment, you're going to use two on the opposite side. This is one of my favorite new Rudolph exercises. You can let it cross to get a good stretch at the top. Oh, I need mean, to do a drop set. It's one of my favorite ab exercises are dragon flags. And I found this perfect bar right here that I can hold on to while I do them. So I'm gonna do some abs now to finish off the workout. I'll show you guys a few variation exercises first. I've done this in a couple of videos, but some of you may have not seen them. So I'll do the full dragon flag first, and then I'll show you the variation exercises that you can use to work up to it. So here's the full thing. You just keep your all your weight on your shoulders. So that's the full exercise, but there's three variations you could do to progress toward it. If you haven't done it before, if you're not able to do them 
right away. First one is just a typical leg raise where your butt's on the ground and you just lift your legs up. So, you know, I get to where you could do, you know, like 20 or 30 reps of these. You know, basically anyone, anyone can do that, right? Second variation exercise is a dragon flag negative. So you just do the negative portion of the exercise. So you're gonna bring your knees up, get into the position, do a negative, slow on the way down, and then bring your knees back in and do another rep. <sighs> This takes away the hardest portion of the rip. Now, <clears throat> the third progression exercise you could do before the final one is the dragon flag with one knee in. So, you get in position, you go up, and you have one leg in, you go down. When we do the rep, you switch to the other leg. And then from there, you can work toward doing the full exercise. Once you could do like 10 of those, you could probably do a full dragon flag rep. If I learned anything today, it'd be not to do handstands on hot turf. If you guys can see this blister on both of my palms, it's so sensitive. Like anytime I grab something, it hurts pretty bad. So let's see another video. Pretty exhausted because the sun kind of just drains you. I was out in the sun for the majority of the workout, but I think it was still really fun. I didn't think I could do handstand push-ups with added weight, but I can. Uh, so I did like a few reps with, well, you guys didn't see, I didn't record, but you saw two reps with 25 pounds added, but I filmed another set for Instagram. I did three reps with 25 pounds added. So I think that's pretty awesome. Next time I'll probably do, I mean, those were rubber weights, so they're just thicker. So next time if I do handstand push-ups and I'll try more weight, I'll just do like a normal plate, which is like thinner and it could be like 45 pounds. So I think that'd be pretty cool to progressive overload with handstand push-ups. Um, Cause my shoulders are actually pretty dead just from the handstands. And then I did those additional exercises. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll you know try to continue uploading uh, weekly or every other week. I'm trying to get to a million on Instagram. I'm like pretty close, about 880,000 right now. Uh, so if you can get a million by the end of the year, that'd be awesome. And then with YouTube, close to 20,000. So that's pretty exciting as well. So go and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.